I gonna look like? I played around in mud. Don't answer that. Hello, hello, welcome to my video. If you're from my Instagram, I love you. If you're not from my Instagram, love you all the same. So right now, I look like this. Hopefully, that won't be the case soon though because today I am recreating the iconic TikTok where Miss Georgia created this beautiful, flawless, passport-ready makeup. Now, I have to admit, her photo looked beautiful, incredible, flawless. I don't think that my final product will look like that though. I really don't because we're not similar. We don't have a similar face structure and shape. And although, for example, the contouring will help with that a little bit, I'm not a magician. So I don't know how that's gonna look. And then also, for example, by you know watching her TikTok and seeing her process, I saw that she did sort of a foxy type of eyeliner. Now that's gonna be difficult for me because I have a lot of little creases around my eyes. And so whenever somebody's doing a specific eyeliner shape, if I wanna get a similar effect I have to really find a different way a roundabout way to do that eyeliner and to get that similar effect so already we're not off to a good start but I can still try my very best so if you're into that sort of thing then please keep on watching so I normally start with my brows already done in all of my videos pretty much but today since I'm not going to be using my same technique that I always use I thought I'd do them on camera her eyebrows look beautiful by the way Mine, I don't know about mine because her brows are a little fuller so I don't know if this effect will work for me necessarily But she really did brush them up quite a bit, okay? Sort of like that and then she just squared off this like top part, I guess so I don't I don't know girl, but let's try it. You know what I'm gonna be giving you Probably you remember a couple of years ago when that trend of like braided brows which were Nasty horrible and bootleg was popular Yeah, yeah, I think that's what my brows are gonna give today and that is not a good thing, but you know what? Oh well, right. So these are the brows lifted and sort of looking similar to hers Now the goal is for them to be as symmetrical as possible for the photo They're not looking like that right now, but bear with me. I think I can fix that. I'm honestly not too mad at this effect I normally wouldn't bring them up so high. I like mine like sort of natural squared off But you know what? I'm not mad. So let's continue now me and Miss Georgia both used the same product Which is the yellow got to be spiking blue for our brows and I love using that I use that literally every day I've mentioned it in multiple videos But the one thing I do recommend is that you clean up around your brows after using that because otherwise Your makeup will get sort of clumpy around your brows and that's not cute so now she moves on to a hydrating primer. Now, I'm actually using a hydrating serum by Catrice because it gets sticky and it's a very nice base for makeup later on. So that's what I'm using, but it's pretty much gonna give the same effect. So now that that got a little tacky, I'm moving on to foundation. She's using a NARS foundation. I'm using a Catrice True Skin foundation that I tried a couple of videos ago. I really like it, so that's what I'm using. And she's sort of blending it in with a brush, which I honestly, don't really like doing but I'm gonna do it at this point because her makeup looks flawless and if we can get anywhere in that vicinity even I'm gonna be very happy so I just did half my face as you can see and please look at that difference that's absolutely crazy I just love makeup so much now look I've said it before and I'll say it again if you don't get foundation in your hairline, you're not committed. And I said what I said. So what I normally do is I'll blend in the foundation with circular motions if I'm doing it with a brush, which I never am, but okay. And then afterwards, I just pat everything down with that same brush just because I'm trying not to enhance my texture too much. I know it's not working, but you know what? A girl can dream. So now she's using a concealer and she's putting it on her eyelids as well, which I used to do, but not anymore. She also didn't apply any more concealer anywhere around her face, but I need a little bit around my nose and right here just because I have a lot of redness. And then she blended that out with a beauty blender, which, whew. I normally blend out my concealer with my finger, but you know what? This is cute too. Okay, so now she actually carves out the eyebrows. I'm gonna carve out both the top and the bottom. She only did the bottoms with a lighter concealer and I'm gonna do that as well. But first of all, I need to carve out the top because 
I can't not do it. I really can't. I'll say this. I normally fill mine in before I carve them out, but I mean, this will work just as well, probably. So now a lighter concealer for the bottom, kind of like this. And I'll just tap that in with my finger. So if you look at this eyebrow, which is not done on the bottom and this one, I think you can clearly see a difference. So now it's contouring time and she just did her temples just like this. Now for this, I am using a Juvia's Place foundation stick. It is a little bit too warm to be contour. I normally use it just to bronze up my face to look a little sun-kissed, but since we are gonna slather our powder contour over top of this later, I don't think it's gonna be an issue. So now she's doing it just on top of her cheekbones. And for the chin, she did a line here and a line here, sort of like this and then just extended that line over here. I don't think I've ever contoured my chin. Also, the line here, it's not gonna work for me because I have a double chin. So I would normally um, try and hide that via contouring right around here where it actually is. But I mean, she did it this way, so I know that I have to do it this way too. Okay, well work, I mean, I did it. You know, that looks sort of weird, but I can't blend it out anymore because if I do, it's gonna totally disappear. So this is where it's at right now. Otherwise, I'm not mad at the cheeks and the temples of my forehead, but you know what? I'm gonna add just a little bit more contour because she said that this look is all about the contour. So I could stand to apply a little bit more. And just as a general tip, that's a good thing to do if you're you're taking flash photography like passport photos and other stuff you should apply more makeup than you would wear on a daily basis because a lot of it is gonna get washed out so this is gonna look good in the photo maybe even on this video right now although I highly doubt it but in real life if you saw me like this you would be like what is this girl's problem has she just finished watching her first YouTube video in her life ever? What is happening? Okay, so she also does some on the tip of her nose, just like this. Also, she didn't mention this, but she did have some contour on the ridge of her nose as well. So I'm applying some here. So this looks crazy right now, but I'm gonna cover it with highlight later, so it's gonna be fine. You just have to bear with me. Now I'm using a smaller brush to just sort of pat and accentuate the shape of my eye with this contour as well. Now she does this too, although she uses the same brush that she used for her face. I'm just gonna use a smaller brush because it's easier. So this is what it's looking like. Again, if you're recreating this, don't over blend. It's gonna wash out. You need this to look sort of unblended. So now she's using a lighter concealer once again and applying it in these areas. Okay, so now she blended that in again with a beauty blender. Now blush, and she literally did two tiny little dots just like this, and I'm gonna blend that in. Then to really snatch the face, we're cutting our cheekbones and then blending that in, obviously. So at this point, she used powder to bake. I'm gonna use this Brighten Up Banana Powder by Essence. If you wanna look awake, this is the one. And she pushed that in with a beauty blender and I do this as well. I think she also wiped it away pretty immediately because it's gone in the next shot. So I'm just gonna pat it into my skin right away. I'm not gonna let it bake for too long. So now she's going over all the areas that she cream contoured with, with a powder contour, and I'm doing the same thing, obviously. This is really gonna set everything in place. Ugh, I really don't know how I feel about the chin. I don't know. Now again, she's also setting the blush with a powder blush. I think I put on a little bit more blush than she did, but I really love blush, so sue me. Okay, so now that I look like I've been tanning for about a month straight, I'm gonna finish up the nose. Now I think she let that sit on her face while she did the eyes. So she said that she wants this wing to look sort of like another eyelash. So I'm trying to make that happen. So these are the wings that are sort of kind of similar, sort of kind of sisters, not twins. Now she did also bring this pretty far out into her inner tear duct which I don't like doing because it makes my eyes, you know, look closer together, but we're gonna do it. Now I'm just filling in the rest of that shape. Okay, so I spent way too long doing that and I think my wings are a little bigger than hers, but we're gonna roll with it. So now she curled her eyelashes to put on mascara, but curling my eyelashes does nothing for me because they're very narrow. So I'm gonna apply this lash primer and serum that I always use, literally, and that's gonna sort of lift them up for me. 
So I know this bake on the sides of my nose has been sitting there for so long. My skin is gonna be crying today, but everything in the name of science. So now it's time for mascara and she said to focus most of it on the outer corner. So for the outer corner, I'm just sort of taking the tip of the brush and flicking my lashes out like this. Okay, cute. I mean, you know what? So far, this look is not bad. I think it will photograph better. So I'm not mad at this, but let's finish up. So now she used a brow pencil to fill in her brows. Okay, cute. So again, as you can see, this is filled in and this one is not filled in. It does make a difference. Okay, so personally, I'm really happy with the way that looks right now. Now I'm just gonna knock this powder off. I am just gonna apply a bit more powder just to the center of my nose on the bridge right here because it seems like her nose is highlighted and she didn't say anything about that. So. I'm gonna let that sit for another minute and while I do that I'm gonna highlight the top of the eye just like she did I don't exactly know what that means. It seems like she just put it everywhere So this is gonna be interesting, but okay work now I'm gonna knock off this powder now all that's left is the lips now. She said to severely overline them Listen, I don't know about severely, but I am gonna overline them. Right, I lied. They're pretty overlined. So now she used a nude lip gloss on top. Okay, so basically this is the finished look. Now let's chat a little bit. So I actually quite like this look. I mean, I think that in the sunlight, in the daylight, it would be a little bit much. I do see a little bit of my texture coming through. That's because we used a lot of concealer, a lot of foundation, we really did. But again, this is originally for a passport photo, so I think it's appropriate and also, I don't really care if I look like a night walker during the day. Like, I'd still go out with this makeup. I think it's pretty cute. My face does look a little bit more lifted than it did when we started, but obviously, again, you can't change your bone structure, so it is what it is. But all in all, I do really actually quite like this look. Now, the only thing that I would change, and I hate to say it, you know I hate to say it, I am a gloss girl through and through, but I would get rid of the lip gloss. Instead, I would probably line my lips the same way and then maybe just put on a matte lipstick and maybe in the center of my lips, I would put on a dot of concealer or a really nude lipstick, again, matte, if you have it, just so when the flash photography hits, it would sort of make your lips look fuller and make it look like they have more of a powdier shape. Because I don't know how well the gloss is gonna translate in the photos, but I mean, I am a lip gloss girl, so I do get it. I also like the little highlight trick on the middle of the eye, on top of the eye. I like that, it's quite cute. Other than that, you know, I mean, I don't know. I guess we have to take the photo and see what the real tea is. Other than that, I will tell you I am quite surprised by the brows because I actually quite like how they look right now. And I hate to say it because I hate to be wrong, but I have to, you know, be real. I might actually do this technique every once in a while because it is quite cute. So yeah, all in all, this is the look. Tell me, how close do you think I got to her original look? And tell me, do you like this type of look? Would you maybe try this out? Would you go and get your passport photo taken with this look? Let me know. But other than that, thank you so much for watching. And if you like this video, please consider liking and subscribing. And I'll see you in my next one. Bye.